Welcome to Microsoft Excel 2010, a training course for beginners. My name is Sharon Smith and I'll be your instructor. This course will show you how to open Excel 2010, name a worksheet, name a workbook, enter formulas, input data, resize columns and rows, create charts, plus a lot more. The course will be broken down into small stages to make it easy for you to follow and so that you can go back and easily repeat each video to make learning easier. Visit my site at sharonsmithlive.com and sign up for this free training program. Now let's get started. First we'll have to open Excel. Every time you start this training program you'll need to open Excel 2010. Go to the start button down here in the left hand corner and click. What you see is a the menu of what's been opened previously. If you've opened Microsoft Excel 2010 recently it'll be in this menu. Otherwise you can go to all programs, scroll down to Microsoft Office, click on Microsoft Office and then find Microsoft Excel 2010. And just click it. Excel will open. What you have here is called a workbook. It's a blank workbook at the moment because we haven't entered anything into it. Also across the bottom you have sheets. So each individual sheet within the workbook is called a sheet. So you can have multiple many many sheets. Uh, for example, if you wanted to have assets, liabilities, uh, income and expenses you might want to put each of them on a separate sheet and then you might want to have an additional sheet that you could add or further information to. Uh, the sheets can be renamed and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to rename this to my budget which is exactly what you can do. We're going to name it my budget because that's exactly what we're going to do in our training course. We're going to do a budget for ourselves and it's a good way to learn various techniques. Also the worksheets can have different colors for them. I do this myself usually and what we're going to do here is if I can just get back there and right click. Uh, I'm going to change the tab color to say green. Now I know you can't really see that but if I change around the sheet change that the sheet will actually be green and it sometimes is helpful if you have a lot of sheets to have different colors then you're not trying to remember which one to go back to similar to when you uh, have an index in a, a folder you might have different colors and that is an easy way for you to remember it we'll go back to my budget now and across the top of the screen you have quick buttons here we've got save undo, redo and also I have a print preview. If you wish to add additional uh, things to your quick buttons you can do it from here uh, especially if there's something that you might use often maybe you email something or you might want to check your spelling it's uh, numerous reasons why you might want to put that there. I like to have the print preview there so that I can easily see a print preview of my document and don't have to go into file and then print and just on and on. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, also this is called your ribbon across the top here and each part of the ribbon has its own uh, set of menu items. Uh, within your home is generally your alignment fonts. Those things to make, thing, to make it look neater. Uh, in your insert, but on your insert menu you have pictures and clip art shapes, smart art which is quite a good little tool especially if you have to put in some sort of a procedure something that you might see with this it's boxes it's already set out for you so you don't then have to go back and draw it or say for some reason you want, might want to do the food pyramid or something like that for a, um, some work that you're doing it's already done for you that makes it much easier overall for you to get that in there. 
and here I have one and I'll just cut that down and I will undo that because I don't really want it in there but that's, it's as simple as that and you just work on it back to my insert uh, this is where also you put in your charts and text box little additional bits of information that you might need or uh, for special circumstances your page layout is where you set your print area uh, so that it can be go for your printer and also it's where you set your orientation of your page for printing uh, this is quite important because deter depending on whether or not you have por portrait or landscape determines how many columns and how many rows you can fit across the page or down the page uh, you could also put in a background if that was what you wanted to do and it's where you can tell um, Excel when you're doing the printing whether to put in titles how to how it looks it's all about how it looks there as well uh, in formulas you have financial formulas logical formulas there's so many formulas built in Excel that you cannot remember them all you'll remember ones that you use often but uh, in here you can get them all for you already done if you have to bring data in from an additional source or you want to filter your data in a certain way well this is another place where you can do it perhaps there's uh, data in a, a different file in another Excel document in a word and you might need it for a sales report or you can get it elsewhere you can then review how you, everything is done this is my new spelling checking on proofing and uh, things like that and the view includes how it will look uh, if I click on this one instead this is how how you've got a page layout or a print layout there is nothing there so it doesn't like it at the moment there's actually nothing in any anywhere for it to play with so if we go back to normal that's what you see and now see how it's actually put in these columns that's because I've got back in here in page layout I actually have the orientation as portrait so this is actually how much presently will fit into a printed page I'll just show you as I roll down the bottom here that there's actually further if you will find another line go there, right? and that is the page area so you always know when there's a page area. This is particularly uh, useful if you have to be creating a form. Now, across the top here, all of these are called columns. They go downways like any column does, and columns are always headed with an a letter, right? And rows which is a other thing that you need to know about in Excel are always known by a letter so right now you can see at the moment in this area because I've got a whole heap of area highlighted but this is actually where my uh, cursor is at the moment and it is a1 that is how you they're always named by column first then by row and it's also shown here which shows you the name box Right. so now I've clicked out of that and all I've got is this this little box here is highlighted also by the um, by the black line around it and you and that's how you input things say I should input in here if I want to put in one right and I think oh, I want one on every single line you come down into that little right hand corner and see how you've got that tiny little cross there if I just pull that down it'll keep writing one but that's not much use for anything for me at the moment is it so I'll just undo that but say I wanted to put a sequential numbers in there so one followed by two right now if I highlight both of those Right, and get that same little cross and pull down to 20 and now I've got the numbers 1, 2, 3 all the way down to 20. This is really useful especially when to needing to do sequential numbering for whatever reason it may be in work 
related situations generally. What we're going to do now is we're going to save this workbook so that we'll be able to use it in future lessons. What we're going to do is I'm going to go up to File, go to Save, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is just click on Desktop, and I'm going to call the file Excel Training. And I'm going to drop it onto my desktop, and that means that I'll be able to use that in future lessons. You'll note now that the name is actually changed to Excel Training because that's what I've actually called the workbook. In our next lesson, we're going to start putting data into our budget. This will give us an idea of how to use formulas and just get a general concept of how to format our document as well. Okay, don't forget, I need you to go along to SharonSmithLive.com and sign up for this training course which is free and hope to see you back here very soon. Now, just before we leave, I better make sure that you close your Excel worksheet. Now, the way that we're going to do that is we just go up to X in the corner and click and it's closed. See you next lesson.